All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 44, going back a bit into geometry. We are talking about measuring lengths with a ruler. So let's see what's going on there. So just a little bit of a review right now that the measure of distance between two points is called the length. And length can be either measured by the U.S. customary system, which uses inches, feet, yards, or miles, or also by the metric system where you're using millimeters or centimeters, decimeters, and meters. And we'll talk more about all those metric measurements on a different lesson. So they started getting us ready for this when they started having us figure out mixed numbers on a number line. And the secret there always was count the unit segments. And some people are still making a mistake. They want to try to count lines. You got to count spaces. That's one unit segment. That's two unit segments. That would be three unit segments. If you counted lines, you'd end up with four of them. You got to count the spaces. So three is the whole number. Four is the other whole number. And I have cut into three equal pieces, otherwise known as thirds, right? So here would be three and a third, three and two thirds, and three and three thirds. Three thirds would turn it into four, right? So let's try the other one. One unit space, two unit space, still three unit spaces. So over here would be four and one third. Now, this part's review, but you apply it exactly the same when you try to figure out how to measure with a ruler. Just count the unit spaces to figure out what my denominator is going to be. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight right now and I'm here to tell you not all rulers are cut into the same number of pieces actually eight's kind of an anomaly usually they're cut into sixteenths so I know my denominator is gonna be eight I'm past the whole number three so I know it's three and some number of eighths So let's figure out my numerator here. It looks like it's going straight down, and I'm trying to measure to this guy here. So 3 and 1 eighth, 3 and 2 eighths, 3 and 3 eighths is what this guy's going to be. Not too tough if you count the unit segments before you start. But a little bit more about those unit segments. Different line lengths represent different denominators, but they're still equivalent fractions. One fourth is exactly the same as two eighths. And later on, we're going to need to know this, so I might as well get you started right now that if you multiply your numerator and your denominator by some same number, you are always going to end up with an equivalent fraction. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. That's how we know they're equivalent. So let's check it down over here where I have it labeled. So we counted. We know they're eighths. Here's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths makes it 1. But these guys over here in blue... Here's one-fourth. We already talked about that. One-fourth is equal to two-eighths, right? Here's two-fourths, which is also equal to four-eighths, or it's also equal to a half. Over here is six-eighths, which is equal to three-fourths. So depending on what you're trying to measure to, sometimes you might want to be skipping over lines. So let's try this one. Measure to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. So here's my whole number three. 
It is cut into 16 little unit segments, I promise you. So here's 3 and 1 16th, 3 and 2 16th, 3 and 3 16th. Technically, this is 3 and 4 16th, but you don't hear many mechanics or carpenters say 3 and 4 16th. And we're going to find out here pretty close why. Here it says, measure to the nearest eighth of an inch. And just as a reminder, I said one eighth is equal to two sixteenths. You'd have to skip every other line. Here's one eighth. Here's two eighths right there, right? So it's actually three and two eighths. And you still don't hear many people say three and two eighths. Check this out. Measure to the nearest fourth or quarter of an inch. And here I reminded you one fourth is equal to four sixteenths. Now, the longest one. One, two, three, four. And that's your first fourth right there. So it's really three and one-fourth, or sometimes you'll hear three and one-quarter inch, but it's three and one-fourth of an inch. Okay, not too tough yet. Hopefully, if there's anything in this part you did not understand, please go back and hit rewind now before we switch measurements. So now we're moving on to the metric side of the ruler. There's always inch side, and there's usually always a metric side too. You want to be very careful that you're always using the right side of your ruler. So metric rulers show both centimeters, which is abbreviated CM, and millimeters, which is abbreviated MM. Centimeters are the lines marked with numbers. And there's 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So here if I have one, that means it's one centimeter, but it's also 10 millimeters. Here's one millimeter, two millimeters, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Two centimeters makes 20 millimeters. Three centimeters is 30 millimeters. Four centimeters is 40 millimeters. But look what I did here. That actually isn't pointing at the five. What would this guy possibly be? Well, it's got to be measured in millimeters. And we left off at 40, right? So now we just count the millimeters. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. This is 47 millimeters. Not too tough, hopefully, for a Monday. Check out this one. Measure to the nearest centimeter. And as a reminder, I said the numbers on a metric ruler are centimeters. So it looks to me like this guy is about 7 centimeters long, right? And if I had to measure to the nearest millimeter, I would just take the number of centimeters and times it by 10. So if it's 7 centimeters, it is 70 millimeters, right? Let's try one the opposite direction. Here they're telling you it's 90 millimeters long. How many centimeters long? Well, I kind of cheated by giving you a ruler. Everybody should be able to just look, oh man, Mr. Hines, that's nine. But you're going to run into problems in the book that I need to show you this because they're not always going to give you. Instead of multiplying by 10, if you want to go millimeters to centimeters, Divide it by 10 because divide and multiply are just inverse opposite operations, right? So if you want to go from millimeters to centimeters, 
always divide by 10. So let's go and do some rounding right now. They want these guys rounded to the nearest centimeter, two and three tenths. Well, later on, you should be able to just say, is this more than a half or less than a half? But I have it all charted out for you. Is it closer to two or closer to three? If you looked, what's half of this denominator? Five would be a half, right? It is less than a half, so it's closer to two. Do you see it down here? Here's two, here's three. It's definitely closer to two. Same thing over here with six and seven tenths. Well, half would be five. So is this more than a half or less than a half? If you look at the numerator, hey, he's more than a half. Six and seven tenths, is that closer to seven or closer to six? Well, since seven tenths is more than a half, he actually rounds to seven because he's closer to seven, isn't he? Let's try it with inches. One and one-fourth inch, which is right here. Is that closer to one inch or closer to two inches? Well, half a four would be two. He's less than a half, right? If he's less than a half, he's going to stay rounded down. This guy is closer to one. How about four and nine sixteenths right here? Well, half a sixteen is eight. He is more than a half, but just barely. That would be a tricky one to look at. Is it closer to four or closer to five? Well, if I go this way, I know it's more than half, right? So technically, he is closest to five. Again, if there's nothing that you don't understand on this, please feel free to go back and rewind. And that, my friends, is the end. I don't think you're going to need a scratch piece of paper. You might need your book opened up to Lesson 44, though, if you're confused about any of the terminology. And good luck.